So this was a case that was performed as the part of live demonstration for the Indovision Course 3 at the Vision Microdentistry Training Academy, Mumbai. Uh, it was an auxiliary second premolar, which was referred to me by a colleague uh, for a case of a separated instrument retrieval. Uh, let's see uh, the way the case was presented. This was the pre-op RVG, which the dentist started with. She tried to do the retrieval, but in the process, accidentally happened to separate an H file during retrieval of the old gutta percha points. Uh, here I'm trying to first uh, evaluate the position of the separated instrument using a DG16 Explorer after which uh, we start to try and remove out some of the inorganic debris that could be possibly stuck around the head of the instrument. I'm trying to use a micro suction and get a much clearer view of the head of the instrument. Once I'm able to visualize the entire head of the instrument, we start to use a K file type ultrasonic tip from Satellac uh, used at a low to medium amplitude, uh, trying to activate it along the inner curvature of the particular tooth. Uh, here the instrument was in the buccal canal and after seeing the instrument slightly loose, I also noticed some out remnants of the old gutta percha points. So instead of the EDTN, we now switch to a gutta percha solvent uh, and then activate the same with ultrasonics with the hope of trying to remove out some of the old GP remnants. You can see a small bit of it is out and then we activate further with fresh gutta percha solvent and the solution turns turbid which means that there is still some small remnants of old gutta percha remaining. We then skip to using the ultrasonics dry to get a better visualization of the separated instrument and then add some EDTA and activate it again with the hope of trying to get that instrument popping out from the buccal canal. But there is still some amount of debris and also some small gutta percha remnants that are still present. So we try to clear out all those as well by continuing our activation process with uh, irrigants and activating it in the presence of these ultrasonic tips. We are also trying to continuously refresh the irrigant so that whatever uh, organic, inorganic or old gutta percha solvents are there, they are continuously getting evacuated. Uh, after visualizing the head of the instrument, we move to another retrieval device known as the BTR pen, which is a loop type device. So here we are preparing the loop uh, so that the instrument can be grabbed, the head of the instrument can be grabbed and uh, you see I am trying to place the BTR loop right now over the entire head of the instrument which is now very much clearly visible. Uh, we use this as a lasso over the separated instrument which is loosened out with ultrasonics but it's not coming out or not popping out very easily. So we grab the head of the instrument, tighten it with the VTR loop and once you pull it out, you can see the entire instrument along its length is completely out. Of course we confirm this with the radiograph and continue our irrigation and activation process. Here I am using the sonic activation from uh, MetaBiomed known as the EQS. Uh, we then gauge the fire, the canals, both the buckle as well as the palatal after which we continue our shaping process to try and remove possibly some small remnants of GP that could still be there along the canal walls. And we also notice that both the canals are joining together and possibly that's the reason why the instrument could have separated in the first place at the junction or maybe slightly beyond it. So after our basic, basic shaping is completed, we continue our irrigation protocol with alternate sodium hypochlorite as well as EDTA and activate it. We then gauge our master cones just like we gauged our canals and you can notice a slight curve in the palatal canal as it is curving towards the buccal since both the canals are joining together at the junction of the apical and the middle third. After the gauging is completed we take a radiograph and the technique of obturation that we are going to choose here is with the bioceramic sealer known as Seller Seal from MetaBiomed. 
you can see as I'm injecting the sealer in one canal, the sealer has flown already into the palatal canal as well. That's because of the excellent flow properties that you have with the sealer. With this type of a sealer, you are going to use only a single cone as an obturation core material. And the remaining part of the canal is going to be filled primarily with the bioceramic sealer. Once the single cones are placed, we are just going to remove out the excess amount of the gutta porta cones above the level of the orifice with a heated device such as the DQV pack from MetaBiomed. Once the excess gutta porta is removed, we use just the stainless steel end, that's the fat end of the pluggers to try and pack the material at the level of the orifice. Uh, you can remove the excess material simply by rinsing it off with a three-way syringe. You don't need any additional tools for it. And that's the immediate post-op. You can see the canals have been filled right up to the apex with a small puff of the bioceramic sealer. That's the pre-op situation that we started with and that's the post-op. Thank you for watching.